You know, for as far back as I can remember, I have always loved coffee. I, I'm talking back all the way to my childhood. You know, growing up in the, in the, in the South Bronx in the 80s, in a traditional Puerto Rican household, there was always coffee brewing on the stove. And, and I remember going to my grandmother's house and all my cousins would be there. We were a bunch of little kids and we would always make ourselves a cup of coffee, right? And I, I'm not talking about like, uh, you know, Folgers, uh, the best part of waking up. I'm talking about some hardcore stuff, you know, Cafe Bustelo, this Colombian roast stuff. And we would be bouncing off the walls. I'm talking about, we'd be going nuts. And my grandma would always say to us, you guys gotta go outside and burn off all that energy. You know what I'm saying? And so we would go out and we'd play in the Johnny Pump or play tag uh, uh, or, or, you know, listen, it was the South Bronx in the 80s. So we'd probably find some like junkyard and start bouncing off with old dirty mattresses and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Vino wasn't always so classy, guys. <laughs> Anyway, so like I said, I've always loved coffee. As a matter of fact, you know, I always tell people that the bookends to my day are a cup of coffee in the morning and a cocktail in the evening. But I didn't start drinking booze until maybe high school. And that's when I, I started drinking more like 40 ounces in the Bacardi Limon. You know, that was my homeboy phase, you know what I'm saying? But when I graduated and went to college and started really getting into the nightlife, nightclub business, that's when I had my first espresso martini. And this was kind of like probably the height of the espresso martini, right? I mean, it was that and uh, the Cosmo and, uh, and the, what's the other one? Uh, the Midori Sour. And so anyway, so I had my first espresso martini. And I said to myself, you know what? This is not so bad. You know, I love coffee. And I love booze. And this is a pretty good combination. But, you know, truth be told, I never really revisited the cocktail. I maybe had one or two more since then. And, you know, that's a long time. But recently, uh, the espresso, espresso martini has become really, really popular again. And so I said to myself, you know what, let me revisit this cocktail and, uh, you know, maybe find some cool uh, recipes, you know, some cool riffs. And so that's what I did. I found two riffs today uh, that I'm going to make for you guys today that I thought looked really, really interesting. All right, folks? So, of course, I'm going to give you my honest assessment. I've not tried either one of these yet. And, you know, hopefully we enjoy them and we don't waste our time recording this video. <laughs> All right, folks? So make sure you stick around because we are going to boogie down. All right, folks, so it is espresso martini riff time. And uh, just, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be using Mr. Black coffee liqueur for both of these cocktails. But you can use Kahlua, you can use a Galliano or a Tia Maria, whatever you guys have. This just happens to be my favorite uh, coffee liqueur. As you can see, I don't have very much left. I got to restock soon. Um, but again, you guys use whatever you want. Now, another thing, well, you know, one of the signature components of uh, espresso martinis is that froth or that foam or that crema, whatever you want to call it. And one of the best ways to get that is by using one kind of larger ice cube in your shaker um, and maybe a couple of small ones I have some small ones here but you know you don't want to fill it up too much with ice because it really doesn't help it creates more dilution than you need what you really want to do is help kind of create some aeration you want a lot of air inside of the shaker right folks so anyway look the first tiki the first the, I kind of gave it away. <laughs> the first espresso martini riff we're making is called an espresso martiki. And obviously this is a tiki version of the espresso martini, right? Folks, now let's look at what is in the sauce. The first thing we're gonna need is an ounce and a half of pineapple rum. I'm going to be using plantation pineapple, which if you don't have this stuff, it is a really, really delicious uh, uh, spirit. You guys should definitely try and pick some of this stuff up. It's Really, really good, fun to use in uh, different kind of tiki cocktails, you know, like little riffs and stuff, right? The next thing we're gonna do is a half an ounce of our coffee liqueur. Again, I'm gonna be using Mr. Black, but you guys can use whatever you have available to you. You know, I like Klua, I like Tia Maria, I like all those as well. So it's not like I don't like them, it's just this is my preference. Um, and now we're gonna do an ounce of espresso coffee, all right? I just made some fresh espresso here. So we're gonna do one ounce. All right, beautiful. And then we're gonna do one ounce of pineapple juice. All right. And then last but not least, we're gonna do a half an ounce of Orgeat, all right? You guys can use the stuff in a bottle like I'm using. I really like Bieber & Co. Or you can go ahead and make your own um, Orgeat, whatever you wanna do, all right? So there we go. Beautiful. All right, so now again, like I said, I'm, you know, I'm gonna try and create as much aeration as I can in the cocktail. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one big ice cube. I'm gonna slide this in there so it doesn't splash back too much. And then a couple smaller ones, uh, just to rattle things up a bit. And then I'm gonna shake that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake that for a good 20 seconds, just to get as much air as I can into the cocktail, right? All 
All right, folks, so I think we shook that up enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just open that a bit. And then I'm going to get my glass out. I'm gonna be pouring this into a coupe, which I had chilling like a villain. And let's go ahead and pour this bad boy in. All right, looking good. It smells good. I'm already, uh, already digging the nose on this one. All right, beautiful. So there's a nice little sexy wash line. And you know, after a couple seconds, we should start seeing uh, our foam show up and it'll be nice and pretty. And then we're gonna go ahead and just garnish that with some um, coffee seeds, you know, the, uh, not coffee, coffee beans. Um, I guess they're technically seeds, right? I'm not sure. Somebody tell me, someone in the comments tell me, are, are these beans seeds? What are they? They're coffee beans, but are they technically seeds? All right, here we go. One, two, and three. All right, folks, so there you go. Um, we got our beans, we got our crema, we got our cocktail, and there it is, folks, an espresso martiki. All right, so you guys know the drill, as I always do, I put that cocktail to the side and we'll try both cocktails at the end of the video. Now, the cocktail we're making now is called an Italian chocolate martini. Now, what's interesting about this cocktail is that one, it uses a Verna, which I absolutely love. I love Maro, um, but also it doesn't use any chocolate. So apparently the combination of these flavors tastes like chocolate. So we'll find out, damn, you know, Vino, I love coffee and booze, but damn, I love chocolate. You know what I'm saying? So we'll find out if this thing holds up to the billion. All right, folks, now let's look at what is in the sauce. The first thing we're gonna need is an ounce and a half of our Averna. Um, because this is supposed to taste specifically like chocolate, you know, I don't know if you want to just switch out with another, another model or not, but you can go ahead and try some, whatever you like and see if, uh, you see what other kind of flavor combination you can come up with. All right. Then we're going to do a half an ounce of our coffee liqueur. Once again, I am using Mr. Black, but you guys can use whatever you like, whatever coffee liqueur you have in stock. All right. Now we're going to do one ounce of our fresh espresso. All right, beautiful, I got a little bit left, take a sip. Oh, damn, that's good. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna go ahead, and like I said before, we wanna create a lot of aeration, so we get some of that nice grandma in there. We're gonna put a, a larger ice cube in there, and then a couple of smaller ones, and we are gonna shake this bad boy up. And again, I'm gonna shake it for, you know, 15, 20 seconds, just to try and get as much aeration as I can in here. All right, folks, I think we shook that up enough. Let me just pop that open a little bit and I'm gonna bring out my glass. I'm gonna be serving that in a Nick and Nora, which I've had chilling like a villain. Um, let's go ahead and pour this in. All right, let's see, we got a little bit of a darker color than we did with the uh, Martiki. And it looks really, really good. All right, beautiful. All right, so let's see that foam show up a little bit. And then what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna actually use some fresh nutmeg. But if you wanna use the stuff in a jar, bottle, whatever you got at home, you know, it's fine as well. So I'm gonna use this very liberally. I'm gonna get as much as nutmeg on here because I do love me some nutmeg. It does some, add some nice aromas to the cocktail, all right? All right, folks, beautiful. So there we have it, our, chocolate, our Italian chocolate martini. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely ready to take myself a sippy sip of my two coffee cocktails here, my two espresso martini riffs. And we'll start with the uh, espresso martiki, because um, we made that one first. Cheers. So right in the nose, I'm definitely picking up the pineapple juice already, and some of the, little, some of the orgeat, actually. So it has like a nutty kind of pineapple uh, scent going on. So let's see what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I gotta tell you though, I like it, I do, but the coffee is, a, is subdued. This is not like screaming in your face, you know, hey, we got coffee in this cocktail. I mean, you do taste it, but I'm really getting more is kind of those nice little pineapple flavors, almost like a, a, a bit of a syrupy pineapple taste to it. I'm um, getting that orja too. Um, this, is a, this is a nice cocktail. This is very, um, it's, it's lighter than I thought it might be. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking it'd be a little more bigger, a little more bold. It's it's actually a little more subdued, but enjoyable. I actually like that, it's very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead now and try our Italian chocolate martini. Now this one has a lot of billing to it because it's like, oh yeah, it's got chocolate. We'll see, we'll see. That's what they say in the notes, we'll find out. Cheers. Mmm. 
Interesting. Now, I should have said right up front, the first thing you're getting is the nutmeg on the nose, and that's delicious. Everyone knows nutmeg smells amazing. On the palate, you know, there are some nuanced chocolate notes in here. I wouldn't say it's screaming chocolate. Um, you definitely pick up a little more of the coffee in this one. Um, I would say probably a little more significantly than you do with this one, but the Averna does add some really nice kind of, there's a little bit of herbaliness going on here, which I really, I really enjoy. Let me try it again. Mm, yeah. And two very different cocktails. I mean, obviously the recipes are completely like polar opposites, but in terms of being espresso martini riffs, you know, they're neither one of them I would ever mistake you with an espresso martini. Um, and they're both just very different from each other. They're very two different, very different moods. Um, I think this is a fun cocktail to try um, maybe once and just, you know, especially if you're a big tiki fanatic and stuff like that, try it out, you might like it, it's good. Um, this is something I can actually see myself drinking more often. I like kind of the elegance of it. Um, I think the Verna adds a really nice uh, uh, texture to it. Again, I'm not getting a ton of chocolate notes, but you know, they're there. They're definitely there, right folks? Anyway, look, this was very interesting considering, you know, I don't really drink espresso martinis and even though I have enjoyed them in the past, I, uh, these are very different from an espresso martini, a, a traditional espresso martini, but that's the fun of it, right guys? Go out there, try new things, especially riffs. I think riffs are the bee's knees. I love riffs. Um, so go out there and try these out if you got the ingredients and see which one is more up your alley. Or maybe either one of them are, or maybe both of them are. We'll see, you know what I mean? Anyway, folks, look, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.